<clears throat> All right, hello collective. Welcome to Andrew Blog. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy you're here. I want to say thank you to Divine, Holy Spirit, the Universe, everybody, Galactic, Start Seeds, everyone who sends good vibes. Um, I do have another collective message for you. I just felt that, well, my spirit guides felt that the reading that I just recently did wasn't going to resonate with a lot of people, but there was a lot of spiritual lessons there, so hopefully that was helpful for you. But there's a specific message that clearly I was in bed, like, just, you know, resting and stuff, and I received this. It says, he said, high standards only scares people who have none. So... That will be in the thumbnail, so if that resonated with you, then this video is for you. Some of you feel like having too high standards, it's something wrong or something like that. No, it's actually, you just scare people or people are afraid to be in your energy. It's because your standard is too high and do not ever, ever let the system, society, religion, culture, Catholics, whatever the hell tell you that you need to lower your standards, especially patriarchy and colonial people, races and all that stuff. Do not listen to these people. They benefit from people who have no standards. Do you understand? So when you have high standards, they can't control you. They can't manipulate you. They can use or abuse you or whatever. Do you understand? So this is also another thing why the enemy can stand people who are healing, who also happens that when you start to heal yourself, you try to balance your divine mass and divine feminine within yourself, you become intuitive. We all have that capability. But to be intuitive, some people are born with it and some people are literally go through so much trauma that they have to become for survival skills as most empath hello are and other people is through healing not only healing their own childhood wounds but also it could be their parents and stuff like that like doing actually stuff or service and stuff like that like it can happen and manifest in many different things but we all have that capability also discernment if you nurture it if you know, know how to work it if you know how to heal that okay sorry my hand looks gigantic in this but <laughs> I don't know why my hand looks so big. So big. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know what was that. That was weird. <laughs> Sorry if my hand looks too big. Uh, it is what it is. Okay, so let's tap in. Let's see what's going on. What is it that we need to know? Maybe someone, the by mass or the by feminine, feels that type of way, or maybe someone's making him feel like, you know, emotional guilt tripping, kind of toxic, low vibrational people, makes people their the victims feel like oh you think you're too much oh you know you'll never be good enough for this uh, you know i don't like who you're dating oh i don't like your friends i don't like a bunch of puke that's another beautiful thing that i'm so grateful about my healing discernment every day i pray and i'm so grateful for that because when you're someone who is not who is operating on unconscious and you will realize this when you let when you're conscious of your unconscious your shadows and stuff like that you learn that to appreciate those things because they help you descend you will never know, learn about discernment in the light just straight up i'm just being honest with you guys okay you can't also you learn from karmic people you learn from them unfortunately they are your lessons but it's up to you. Are you willing to stay and let them fuck you over your life? Or are you willing to say, fuck off, right? Sorry for the thing, but it's just I'm getting into that sense. Like, I can't stand people who have a problem with people with standards. And I notice that too. Like, whenever I post something about high standards, about what kind of quality of men we accept, well, we don't want toxic community dick men and stuff like that. Right away, subscribers and everything goes down. Followers. And like, I was like, oh, damn, there were so many of you. There were so many of you. They have no, you don't know your worth. You don't have high standards. Also that too, you letting us know also that you benefit from people with low self-esteem, insecure. And some of us have been there and now we are in a different stage and that they can't stand that. They can, you know what I'm saying? The enemy too. The enemy can stand 
uh, especially divine feminines, woke divine feminines, right? Intuitive, empathetic, right? But you got boundaries. You don't let anybody screw you over, right? Anyways, so let's tap right in. Let's see what's going on. I feel like you're using this deck and this one for you guys. <clears throat> Yeah, it's just a weird energy. It's a weird. That's you guys. Um, I don't. I don't know if it was Till Swan. Till Till Swan. That's her name. I like her. I don't know. There's people saying like, oh, she's that. I know. She's perfect for all of us to get into her shadow, and she does it in a very beautiful and graceful way. I love it because there's people who do it in a very toxic way. Let me just say that's why I go to therapy too because I thought that some people channels and stuff like that like it was okay for them to insult people through channels and stuff like that i thought that was like okay when i talked to this about me my therapist they're like wait and they call themselves therapists they call themselves their consultants that is a trauma on itself using your own clients and your readings whoever you are just saying you know who you are and those of you, use the sermon. When you, you watch people doing that, cut it off. I, when I saw that, I was like, are you serious? She's like, they don't learn their lesson. It's so sad. And I, I hear the Holy Spirit like, caught it, just close it. Never watch this person's reading again. It's, it's wrong. It's traumatic and it's horrible to use your clients, your people that pay you, that feed you. You're like mocking the people who feed you. And then using it as a collective reading and mocking them. And then using that as to heal other people. No, no. It's wrong. And on top of it all, you like, she, that, we don't mention names. Of course you don't mention names, but you're trashing them. You're talking about their personality. You're talking about their relationship and stuff. It's horrible. I, I feel so bad for whoever that person was. And I know that this person's going to take it on out in their own way. Oh, people would not understand that what we do here. No, you're a colonial. You're fucking toxic. That's it. Yeah, we're all students. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Spirit. We're students here. Is that how you treat people in a school? Is that how you're going to treat people? Because the same way you treat your client, that's how you, like, you're supposed to be a light worker or someone who does stuff for, for, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. Like, stop judging. Like, another thing is, like, stop using judgment and, and calling, uh, using other people's trauma and horrible things, experiences to use it for your own benefit and for money and stuff. That's horrible. Like, that, I, guys... I will ask you to hold me accountable. If you know any of my readers that I have done that, please call me out, okay? I'm not perfect and I'm not here to be, I'm just a messenger, but we also have to hold ourselves accountable and responsible. We cannot do that. We are all students here. Nobody's perfect here. That one is the perfect. That one who sacrificed himself for us. That one. And we're still learning. He's still teaching us. We're not perfect here. That too, I forgive that person. And I sent, I start praying for that other person who gets to watch that reading. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. But that's it, guys. Never do, that's why, like, I don't know. Those, I'm telling you if you, because I don't do personal readings, but those who do personal readings never do that, okay? It's a horrible karma. Do you understand? And that's why I feel bad for that person, that community, because they do that a lot, a lot. And they benefit from taking money like that. Listen, never ever, if you're doing personal readings or coaching, or if it doesn't have to be personal reading Oracle, it could be like, if you're a therapist or if you're someone like a psychologist, like these people have integrity. That's what I'm saying. Like they will never do stuff like that. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Same thing if you're a prophet or something, like say you're coaching someone, don't be careful how you make it samples in the collective or on live or online or something like that. Like there's some people that I learned that how they do it, how they they say testimony from other people, but they ask permission first and then they talk nice. Okay, not just nice because not we're not here to talk nice, but I'm saying like, like say things that are helpful, healthy, you know, to help others because you're here to guide. You're not anybody's people. You're not here to tell people what to do and or, or, or tell them how to be. No, you're here to guide them to go back in to find their own way. Because we're all students here. Some of us are in advanced degree or something like that, an advanced uh, grade or something, whatever you want to call it. But we're still students. Everybody is. 
Look, student, lie attributes, humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. Absolutely. All of us should be open-minded, non-judgmental. You know what I'm saying? Forgiving, compassion, kind. Like, man, you see the shadow side of this is arrogance. That's what I was saying. Thank you, spirit. I appreciate you. This person has an arrogant complex, like a spiritual ego arrogance, okay? And they feel like because they have a large following, a large subscribers and stuff like that, they coach people, couples and stuff like that. They think that it's okay to jeopardize their community or their own clients in their collective readings to make a point and insulting. And it's, 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 it's scary. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking about it because I don't want to give that energy anymore. And I don't like talking about other people's situation like to each their own. I'm just saying as a lesson, I don't want to ever find myself in a situation. I learned from that person and we also learning right now too. don't do that to other people. It's not fair. It's not nice. And it's it's like you you lose your integrity. You lose your credibility. Don't do that for just a couple of likes, a couple of views. Like, come on, seriously, seriously. You just lost a person for a couple of likes and a couple what? Like for what? For watch hours? Like, geez, it's arrogance. This kills everything. Relationships. Okay? This is why the we all we all have this. This is why it has to be balanced. When it's not balanced, oof, it can go up. You think you're better than everyone. And that makes you that boast ego, ego, spiritual, and talk about horrible about people. Look at that. All this of you, you're an artist. Some of you are an artist. But all this of you, you're dealing with people like this. That too. That could be a sign of arrogance too. You can have people who who have high standards, right? And then they have arrogance. Because having high standard, it's okay to, you know, to be humble and stuff like that. But if you have high standard and you're arrogant and prideful and you think you're better than everybody, then no, that doesn't mean that you're better than that. People are just walking away from you because you're just, you're, you're in your ego. You're too much, you know? You think you're better and it's they literally clearly your action says everything <clears throat> but yeah arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge see unwillingness to translate knowledge into action so some of this is that it's like okay let me trust somebody else and talk up you know what i'm saying but then not turn that knowledge that they know into actions instead of like let me talk about this person's situation you know what i'm saying like that's not a student, okay? Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get off that energy. Like, it's done. That lesson is done. We're finished with that. Okay, let's get into this. So we have student artists. And we have childhood wound shapeshifter. Okay, so, so some of you, you might be dealing with a shapeshifter. Someone who, yeah. But some of you, this could be a masculine, that it could be a chip shifter, but I don't feel a bad energy of this. I feel like this person is like a hidden artist, artist, could be a student, could be, uh, some of you could be a college or university or could be, um, not necessarily, maybe it's just like culinary, I don't, I don't know why her culinary, but maybe like uh, art school, um, but this is a lot of people, I find like, maybe some of you, <clears throat> have high standards because you know you're working on your craft you want to focus this is requires a lot of focus also being a student uh, and in this world and during this time woof, there's a lot of and it, we leak our energies a lot because we barely have time for our own selves you know even to heal right some of us you know we don't live with our parents right we have to work three to four jobs uh maybe start a, our own business and stuff with that that's another work on itself. I remember doing this. I remember being a student and right before I graduated, I started doing my business and it was like crazy and then have children and yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy, but enough about me. Listen, I feel like the message here is that a lot of you, since we're talking about high standard and when people walk away is because they don't have none. And I feel like a lot of you feel that maybe showing your authentic self, being your own uh, artistic self, let's say, or being who you are, it's, for some people, it's not good enough, okay? All this of you, I feel like, um, right now you're in a point where a lot of things are different, like everything is changing, right? 
like now you're the artist like i feel like right now you want to be that change that shift and this is a good energy at least for the collective okay so the light attributes of the artist some of you could be dealing with an artist or this is you expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses inspiring others to see life symbolically symbolically yeah so this is something that i focus on most of my work my art my paint my writing uh the podcast the channel and stuff like that so a lot of you is like maybe you're looking for something to focus on your art okay um find something that makes you happy first so that that could be your focus point that could be your north node okay that's for some of you all those of you you are someone's north node right now you're someone's inspiration right now especially the fact that they're inspired to heal their inner child which is a good thing right this could be also someone who's learning from you. You could be a uh, muse. You could be someone's muse or something like that. Using, and then the shadow side of this is using talent as an excessive to mistreat others. Hmm. They were just talking about that? <laughs> Spirit, you keep coming back to the shadow that we're trying to heal right now because we need to heal it. Yeah. Using talents as an excuse to mistreat others. That's exactly what I said about that community. That they're using their talents to mistreat others, right? So calling themselves artists, coaching and stuff like that. But it's someone who's just learning from them, right? Looking for assisting and paying them too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you just don't don't you don't spit on the people who feed you. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Someone said that once and I, I never let that go it's like embraided in my brain and uh and i not that i do it's just that when i see other people do it i'm just like what <laughs> sorry about my voice guy i'm still a little rusty so <clears throat> yes i'm getting back to my senses okay posing as the starving artist to elicit pd Ooh. Ooh. shadow side of the artist huh Posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. Mm. Bueno. Bueno. Everyone, you know your shadow, you know yourself. If you get triggered, that's good. Go heal, do what you gotta do, okay? But I'm just a messenger. Childhood wounded. So most of us are childhood wounded, but I feel like this person is trying to let you know, like they're a student, they're a secret artist, or this is you, and they're healing their... This feels like Divine Masculine, okay? Because Divine Masculines, they're shapeshifters. <laughs> they learn this. They're very skilled. And this is something that they want to let their Divine Feminine know. That they know more than you think they know. At least this person. Yeah. I think this person's into poetry or they like poetry or something like that. Or maybe this is you. Yeah. You're a storyteller or they are a storyteller. They like to write and read a lot. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, but they, they've been something. Oh, detective, okay. Maybe they could be working as a secret detective or something, I don't know. I don't know, but they're writing a story. Someone's writing a story here. But they're a victim of something. I feel like their story might be related to their childhood, you know what I'm saying? But they could be dealing with a shift shifter or they could be in a, I feel like in the, <coughs> Let's read it. The life side of this is the skill of navigating to different levels of consciousness. Ability to see the potential of everything. So that's the life side. The shadow side of this, projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. Okay, so yeah, the person projects uh, child wounds. Uh-huh, this is why they have to heal because they're doing it as we speak. Yeah. I feel like there might be a, a young soul, whoever this is. Um, but yeah, so some of us, what are the, I feel like the spirit is trying to say also is that when well, we operate in a shadow side, because that, oh yeah, what I was saying about still, um, Teal Swan, she was talking about that this week she was warning people and she put it on her YouTube channel too about uh, the spirit of desperation or like the desperation energy. And she, she gives a good pointers there. So go check her out, guys. Till Swan, okay? 
to talk about that because it's something that is going to uh, resurface for a lot of us and it might make us do things that we um, later on are going to regret, okay? So she's trying to help us out of that shadow of desperation, especially if we have a lot of childhood wounds and stuff like that and we haven't healed that, that's going to surface really even more. And we're going to have people triggering that out too as well, okay? So yeah, this person feels like you have unfinished symphony with them, okay? But I feel like they're projecting this artist, student. Um, also that too, it's like, I feel like that that's it. It's like your high standards uh, scares them, but that's because they don't know about that. They didn't grow up with high standards. They, I don't know, their childhood is kind of... I'm not here telling people their business, but damn, this isn't easy. I mean, a lot of us don't have easy childhood, but this person really didn't, okay? Really didn't. And they keep her very, they they keep her a silent, you know, a silent integrity that I talk to you guys about in any of my readings. Uh, this person keeps a loyalty to their family who are toxic as fuck, okay? They're toxic. And I feel like this person maybe chose their family over you. Yeah. They chose their family and now I feel like something happened. Someone betrayed them. Something happened within this family or something. Something. Something that it like literally triggered their awakening. Like for real. They're, like this person's like, you know what? I need to heal. Because I feel like this is something also they attract. Uh, maybe female or either female or women or anyways. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, guys. We read energies, not, uh, you know, but it feels very masculine energy, okay? So take it how it resonates. You can flip the energy as as, uh, as you go. Okay. <clears throat> Child wounded. Awaken compassion and desire to serve others. Wounded children opens to learning path and forgiveness. Oh, forgiveness. That's beautiful. That's the life side of this. But the shadow side blames all dysfunctional relationship on childhood wounds resist moving on through forgiveness so this person needs to forgive they need to forgive themselves they need to forgive their family they need to because they're trapped in the past this person is trapped this person is stuck in the past they can't move forward they can uh, i feel like this is the energy is going around the collective right now someone's stuck in the past and we're trying to like uh, like a lot of us is like guiding them to like can you please move on from the past it's a healthy to take therapy <laughs> And I know it's easier said than done, you know. I, I'm not laughing, you know. I'm just... Because, sorry, that's insensitive, yes. Um, I'm saying it in a way that... Understand that the past is already there. There's nothing you can do in the past. It's already happened, right? So, staying in the past and overthinking that, you will never move forward. It will always keep you stagnant and not doing anything or making any decisions, you know? Whoever this is, like... <clears throat> And some of you, if you know someone like this, like, send them this video. Like, it's not good to be stuck in the past. This is someone who is like a hidden artist who could be really great, you know? And they're dealing with some shape-shifting energy, you know? They could be themselves too. Okay, so by the book. 11. Wow. See, so this person has unfinished business. Yeah, they have something that they need to finish. Boys. New life. Yeah, I feel like they see you as like a poise, like you're very high, um, yeah, you have high standards, it's just what it is. I feel like you could be a divine feminine or divine masculine with really high standards, but I feel like they want to do things by the book now, like they want to do things, right? They feel like they haven't finished business. With the 10 here, I feel like they finish a cycle and then they want to start a new beginning, like a new life, you see with the 8, yeah. Something about a community. I feel like this person, and it's hidden. There's a community that is not okay with this. With what their choice or what they want to do. Who they want to be. I feel like they're a secret uh, artist. But, like, people... No, this is jealousy. These people are jealous of this person. Also, your person, if you're an artist, and this is something that they see in themselves, it feels twin flame. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm just saying, but not everybody's in a twin flame. But this feels like very mirror energy. If you're an artist, your person is a, is a tiny, is a little bit jealous. Because if you're in your high vibration, if you're in your higher self right now, and you're doing this work, you're already past the phase, like you're accepting that you're a student, that you're always learning, open-minded, you're working on your craft, you're healing your childhood wounds, shape-shifting, but in a light way, you're 
shifting in different consciousness you could be in the literally in the ninth dimension maybe 10th dimension like you you know how to do this also some of you could be writers poets storytellers you know what i'm saying content creators so if you're in your high vibration and your person isn't yet where he's closing cycles and starting and overcoming this the thing is that this person only sees the side of like what you have become right but they weren't there when you were in that same situation that they are now <laughs> yes because in order for you to be this person you have to cut cycles you have to cut a lot of things off you gotta let go of the way so that you can fly right this person is learning that now they used to do things by the book you know staying in that box that reading that I did is good to be different. It will be good for whoever this is. Yeah, they listen to the community. Now it's like, now they want to go the distance. Yeah, this person really regrets listening to this community. They want a new life. They regret. And again, everyone makes mistakes. We're not here perfect. We're not perfect and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. Some of you are really good at your... Maybe you could be a therapist or something, or you could be helping children and stuff like that. You could be a teacher or an educator or something like that, because there's a student here. So there's like a teacher-student dynamic or speaker, coach, or like, you know what I'm saying? It could be many things, guys. There's a lot of people who listen to this, but let's see what's going on. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, let's use Skipper. Let's use Skipper. All right, Spirit. Let's let's get to the bottom of this. What's going on? What is going on, Spirit Angels and Ancestors? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! They really listen to the wrong people. I really hope not. Oh man, damn. Some of you, this person feels like they stole their path. Yeah, their their love. Yeah, this person is really in concern because they want to give you a gift. Yeah, they, they, they made their own choice. Damn, they could be in bad health or in jail. Damn. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to court you, but marriage? So this person married somebody else and it turned out that person was a thief? Or they feel like they stole this union from them. I mean, it could be delayed, but not stolen. Nothing that God created can be stolen. But I feel like this person feels robbed. They feel robbed from their path, from their love, from their... Yeah, they listen to other people. There's a divorce. They could... Damn, this, they went that far to marry someone that they didn't... Oh, God, jeez. This person's in bad health. They could be dealing with some... Like, they're really sick right now about this Ooh, you're the privileged lady wealthy man message of concern bueno this person wants to communicate okay all right let's get into tarot tarot like my god um what do i feel like using So we're um it's a weird energy. Mm. All right, spirit. So that's what's going on. I don't know why, but I feel yeah, I knew it. It's a soulmate connection. But is this that soul tie? No, it's a twin flame connection. I can't make this up. I told you guys. But there's this cards are calling me. One second. Woo. One second. <clears throat> okay. Spirit. I feel like there's um <clears throat> I know a lot of you are going to be like, no, that does not happen. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. So this could be some racist family and this person likes someone of color. Yeah, I said it. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, this person, uh, these people wanted them to marry or be with someone who's the same race as them and blah, blah, blah. You know, religious. These people are religious as fuck. And this person is like a hidden artist or some, or some of you are. Like, this is why this person feel like they, they got like stolen, like their life. Like, they, I, I feel like this person feels like they wasted time. But let's see, the African goddess called to me. So let's see what they want to tell you. Rage. Woo. Okay. Make sure you use that rage for transmute that energy. Use it for creativity since you're an artist, whoever you are. Cause damn, look at that. Look at that face. Is that Medusa? Oh my God, that's Medusa. What's the story of Medusa? Ooh, etheric chords, grief. Ooh, okay. Ooh, man, this person got... What's the story of Medusa? Isn't like... Yeah, she was beautiful before, but remember she turns people into stone? Someone's enraged, someone's mad here. Yeah, they're mad. It could be this karmic though, whoever they chose over you, who this person is trying to like, is calling them a thief or something. I don't know, someone is not uh, of light here, let me just say. It could be that, it could be that shadow side of that shapeshifter. But someone's enraged here. This person isn't grieving, like grieving this. Yeah, see their creativity. Like they're not inspired by this person. Like, ugh. can you imagine being in union with someone you don't love? God, have mercy. Anyways, this person sees you like, like a goddess. Like someone. Like, look, I don't know. Maybe this is you, or they see you and like maybe you could have like kids, or they see you having kids. Like, look, they, this person's pregnant. Also, they could have lost a child. My condolences if someone lost a child, but I think about creativity. Like this person sees creativity. Creativity, this makes me feel seven sisters. Something about seven. Seven could be significant here. Twelve. Wow, she's beautiful. Yeah, this person is into someone who is not approved by their family. Yeah, see? But it's like destined, cosmic power. Again, two, two, two. I feel like this person, you're like the sun and they're the moon or something like that. Wow, you guys are like really, it's like a match made in heaven, but it's like, what's with the thief? What's the thief? What's the thief? Shine. Mama de Jumbo. I'm saying to shine. Some of you, it's like, you're meant to shine. Yeah, level up. Some of you, this is their advice about masculine. Level up, shine, man. Use that rage, transmute that energy. Heal that, use that healing for, literally, uh, alchemize it. Transmute that energy and turn it into something creative. Turn it into a book, a song, a podcast, a channel, whatever. Turn it off. That's the best revenge you could do. Don't take revenge on people. Don't try to do, get back at them. None of that. It's too late. It's past. It's done. They didn't steal anything, by the way. Your pathway is still here. See? The lovers are still here. They didn't steal anything. This person tried, though. You gotta give them that. But they're gonna receive some heavy karma for this. Let me tell you. Very nice ancestors. I wonder who these ancestors are. Very beautiful. Could be my ancestors with your ancestors. Woo! But a lot of you, you need. if you're an artist, some of you, it's like you feel like... Your, your life got robbed out of you, like they robbed your life, your lifetime or something like that. No, it's not. It's not too late. Some of you hermit, you see it's starting to come out. It's You need to go into the hermit mode. Or if you're the divine masculine, try to heal, go within. All the answers you're seeking is within. If this marriage didn't happen yet, which I'm hopefully, I'm praying that it didn't. If you, whoever landed on this reading, because I pray whoever needs to hear that you need to hear this, please don't marry this person. <laughs> For real. They are a thief. They were still your joy. They were still, you, you're meant to have a new life. Something else. And you know what? I'm not here telling people what to do. I'm just giving you the message, reading from the cards. I see the synchronicities here 23, 32, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5. Like, it, it's too many. Yeah. This person is going to prevent you from leveling up. And they are enraged because they know that. Some of you could be marrying someone for convenience or something like that. While you're watching someone that you want to, bueno. Some of you, it's like this person holds your energy. You want to walk away from this. Yeah, it's a tower moment. 
Ooh, but I see a blessing. There's a blessing in disguise here, whoever you are, okay? All right. <clears throat> huh, I'm gonna use the lover card. Why not? Wanted lights here. All right, spirit. Let's talk about this thief. I don't really like it getting into the karmic energy, but I feel like somebody needs to know this. Or some of you already know if you're already out of this relationship already. It's like you want to move forward. You don't care about this other person. This person is doing stuff, though. That's what they want to tell you. Yeah. See, they're waiting to see. Some of you is that, like your person is waiting to see, like can't wait to get the hell out of this situation, family member, marriage, fake ass marriage, bunch of thief people trying to rob them from their from their life, from being with you, from building this life with you, this union. I don't know, I feel like this person can feel you somehow, like maybe they hurt you or something like that. And yeah, now they understand, like they're awakened to this, like, yeah, three of wands talks about, like, a lot of you is like, I don't know, six of swords talks about moving from rough water to calmer waters, right? Yeah, for sure. Someone wants to run. So if you're dealing with a narcissistic abuser, absolutely get the hell out of there. Don't wait. Listen to spirit guy. What the hell you got to do? Save up or whatever you got to do. Get the hell out, okay? This thief, I, I don't know. It's not a good energy. You know what I'm saying? This marriage is whatever this is. Some of you is like, it's like you can't wait to go from rough water to come of water to your person. Yeah. Like you're juggling a lot. Like there's a lot of stress here. Some of you, this person is dealing with some karma for what they did to you. Yeah. Three of pentacles. They were a fool. They collaborated with this person. Yeah, the real fortune is here though. It was destined though. Yeah. Because they, they needed to see something through that karmic. They need to learn some lessons, okay? Yeah. Two of swords. This fear. They have a lot of fears. Yeah, see? That's the truth. Truth and clarity. It's something about fear of commitment or fear. Maybe it's that. Maybe they feel like, oh, there you go. That could be the other solution that this person fears commitment. They fear that if they commit to someone that this person's going to steal from from them like their dreams and their thing you know that old toxic mentality and i feel like people are feeding this energy to this person it's bullshit it's not true it's not true unless they've been married before and then they have someone who stole from them and maybe cheated or you know always was in and out kind of thing so this person has experience this type of stuff but i feel like whoever this divine feminine who i'm speaking to or who is connected to this person if you want to you know, I'm not here telling people what to do, but if you're here, that means you want to know what's going on with your person. So they have fear of commitment. They have to heal that. Yeah, see? Too much drama, conflict. But they, yeah, it's family. It's fucking family. And and that too is like a lot of people said like, oh, but they have, you know, they're grown. They have their, their own decision. They can make their own decisions. They don't need to take from advice from family and stuff like that that's easier said than done when you don't know what it means to live in an abusive narcissistic family you cannot judge right we gotta learn some people cannot make that decision just like that some people have to for survival situation maybe this person is being manipulated with money financially with the student it makes me feel that this person these it could be parents who manipulate them saying, oh, you have to go to the school, we're paying your books, we're paying this for you, which means that you have to do what we tell you to do. Otherwise, what are you gonna do, right? Let's say if you don't have any job or something, maybe they told this person to leave their job. You don't know, we don't know. Leave your job, we'll pay for your school, we'll pay for your everything. Like this person is completely uh, under their dominion financially emotionally spiritually and that too it's like now they feel like they have a make a decision about this person's personal life relationship so this person is like mama guau like in dominican we say mama like like sucked you know like uh you know by their own family some of you can say oh that guy is a pussy blah, blah, blah. okay well sure if you like to judge people like that but i I actually believe that this person, the reason why we're seeing this reading is because this person is building the courage and strength to get the fuck off. But they're doing it in a way that is smart. Why? 
You can't out uh, narcissistic abuse, or they will find any possible way to fuck you over if they know what you're doing. This person is smart. Also, they're keeping their feminine away, distance, so feminine energies, divine feminines. You, right now, you can't be around this person, okay? They're trying to protect you from this. I'm telling you, these people are dark. They're nasty. They're disgusting. They could be racist. If you're someone of color, these people will trash you. They're racist as fuck. And they could, honestly, I I wouldn't give it any other tip that these people will try to, if you even go close to their son or take it how it is. If you are masculine and the feminine is trying to keep you away because their family, her family is racist. I am telling you right now. There is a difference in culture, which is so old. This is this feels like this 80s, 80s, the 60s, 70s, or something like that. Like it's just old. These people are old, updated, religious. They have the religious spirit, and if they're racist, they're demonic. I told you guys, all my podcasts I talk about that. People who are racist, they're demonic. Point plain blank. And when they are, you get get the hell out. If you are, get out of my channel. I don't I don't care I don't care. We are here to be equal. Whether any race is sex or whatever, it doesn't matter. That's what I said, guys. Let go of the judgment. That too, these people are desperate. That's what I'm hearing. They're desperate. This person is like healing. and Maybe they're learning from, from you or something like that. Or maybe you're doing the healing work and it's working on this person. You know what I'm saying? These people are mad. That too, this person doesn't want you around. Like they see you as a ultimate fulfillment, happiness and stuff like that. But there's too much conflict, too much drama right now see two of cups two of cups they want to reconcile but first they have to gain their strength the king of swords this person learned a lot of lessons about this about this family how to treat others how to be more empathetic the thing is they were empathetic the thing is right now i feel like this person had to like literally they were taking it for weakness they're empathetic like they're they're really kind but kind people, empathetic people, artists, you need to know boundaries. This is what happens when you don't have boundaries. You let people control you, manipulate you, and abuse you. You know what I'm saying? All right, Spirit, let's talk about the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Spirit. This one, are, see? Wish fulfillment. They see us a wish fulfillment. They know you're guarded, though. Look at this. They're guarded, too, though, because they've been through some stuff. Yeah, see? They're building the strength. Of what? Like I said, to walk away from all these toxic ass people, betrayal. There's a lot of, someone cheated on them too, by the way. That's the saddest part, that they listen to their family. They chose this fucking karmic, toxic as fuck, a fucking thief, and they cheated on them. Yeah, thanks a lot, mom and daddy, right? So yeah, this person needs to heal because that's some serious trauma, okay? Also that too, the family betray them. They did this on purpose. It's like they feed off this person. Yeah, these are narcs, man. This is horrible. This person could be drinking a lot, okay? This is something that they have to let go of because this disconnecting from the divinity. When someone drinks a lot, they use their pain for... They, this person has to feel their feelings. They really have to heal. And some of you, you know, pray for your person, okay? They're going through it. This is... This is... Uh, some serious demonic battle here. I feel like this is happening in the spiritual realm. I'm already picturing it already. So yeah, it's pretty intense. Okay. So send in prayers. The only thing is like, you know, try not to reach them out or stuff like that. Let them, you know, because that too is like you can't demasculate them. Let them be, they need to learn this lesson. This is building the resilience and strength so that they can be that king of wands, a leader, someone who's, you know, and look who's uh, right behind him. God is right there. Maybe this person doesn't believe in God, or I don't know, or maybe they were too religious and now they don't want to, they don't believe in any of that. But now they know, they, they're learning about spirituality though. Because you see, you see the shadow, the light in the dark. This person knows they, they're looking at their shadow and their lights right now. They're using their shadow to survive. The nine of wands. They know that you're also very guarded as well. They see you as a leader and someone very strong. So I feel like this is something that inspires them to walk away from these people. This person is very sad. They could be dealing with some depression right now. This is why we saw the hermit, yeah. See? They're heartbroken, yeah. 
This is intense. They want to apologize, though. Some of you, they left. They abandoned this. Some of you, they, this person, like, sacrificed this connection. Yeah. Some of you, it's like, this person is building boundaries. Or, or this is you. They want to offer you this cup, though. Yeah. Long-term, uh, yeah. Oof. Wow, okay. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a lot of channel messages. Yeah, this person... Um, yeah, this is... This is heavy. Some of you, you're feeling this? Like, if you... You're feeling this. Some of you, you know, protect your energy, okay? Some of you, if you're feeling, like, really low or sad or having some heart palpitation, like, this connection is protected, okay? But I feel like... You might feel this. You feel this person and this person feels you. Yeah. Divine is teaching you something, guys, right now. I feel like you're gonna get a specific message, so make sure that you pray. Okay? Pray and talk to Divine, God, whoever you wanna talk to. I usually talk to Jesus about this. Uh, this person is building boundaries by le leaving all these people in the cold and learning about uh, forgiveness and apologizing. You know, they're healing their heart, right? They want to have this stability with you. But do understand there is, this is deep healing, okay? Five of Cups, this feels very, very, like I'm feeling it right now. Like I just, I feel really emotional. Like I want to cry. Um, this could be some altercation as well. Uh, there's, there could have been abuse, okay? Like, it could be physical or something. This is why this person needs to give themselves that love, okay? So they can offer you this um, Queen of Wands. Bueno, yeah. They're down with a Queen of Wands energy. Someone very, um, very jealous and envious, I feel. Also very con controlling. They could have been into dark arts uh, energy. Again, it could be that shape shifter in the shadow side. Ace of Wands. They want this new beginner with you, but they have to heal something. They have to heal themselves, you know? And I, honestly, that's a good energy, right? You don't want someone who comes with this type of trauma with this type of thing and not heal and not heal their exes or family situation you want someone you know and also that they can find themselves and focus on themselves right they love you though there's no denying of that but i feel like others of you let go of the expectation of this and of them like how they're gonna come in or how you know what i'm saying like you don't know what other people go through but then again i don't know your situation a lot of you have deal with it could be a past person or this could be a new person or this could be a new per uh, past person like renew barely transform or this could be someone like you you know all i can say is that with the ace of wands a lot of you need to tap into your intuition focus on the new beginning on this feels new to me right because a lot of you that is your karma I mean, their karma is, you know, what they're going through for choosing um, family, other karmics, or a third party situation over the actual blessing, right? We saw the nomen is that we saw the four of one twice and the two of pentacles, like you're like soulmate twin flame kind of connection. So it could be both. Like you were their blessing. What was that? Yeah, Seven of Cups. They could have options. Yeah, they they didn't see the... Some of you is that you've healed the situation, right? Also, yeah, they were in the Nine of Wands energy. They were leaking their energy. Nine of Wands talks about, you know, player energy. The justice here, yeah. <sighs> Queen of Cups. It's a blessing. Some of you, you could be going to a high level soulmate. Maybe this person, it's still stuck with these people though. Like, that's it. You can't change people. You can't heal people, you know, and this is their decision. If they decide to stay stuck and not do anything, continue to listen to this toxic ass parents, you know what I'm saying? Because some people do. That's 
the saddest part. It's like they don't want to heal, they don't want to change, and they stay stuck in situation. They, this person couldn't marry this toxic ass person, who unfortunately I just show you what will happen to this person. This person's gonna die miserable and sad, and this person's gonna take all their money. That's the saddest part. Because they decided not to change. They decided not to stay stuck with that. They decided to stay stuck with that. Also, they're a player. Maybe this person let them be a player and stuff like that. They're going to catch a disease or something. I'm telling you, it's not good. This is not what it was. It was not. And that's for some of you. All this of you, you yeah. To some of you, you will go into a new beginning. You're going to heal this, okay? This is going to be your justice. There's good news about a job or something like that. I feel like you're gonna glow up from this, okay? And there's a new blessing coming in once you do this work, you know, this healing. You're gonna invest in the, I mean, you're invested in the right things, but there's someone new that wants to invest in you. You know what I'm saying? That they see the potential, they see your worth, okay? They see you as a star. Like, they won't hesitate. Like, this person had plenty of time to come back, but they didn't. Yeah, Page of Wands energy. They could have do spell work and stuff like that. Like, oh my God. They wanted to slow it down any other person who offers you love. So on top of that, like, not only did they decide to take the karmic situation, they decided to slow down your love life. What the fuck? That's for some of you. Others of you. This person is once a new beginning with you after they heal the situation. There is a message that they want to send you. This is why I tell you guys in tarot, you use discernment, okay? Because some of you it's it, some of you it's not. So I'm giving you the two different timelines and options, okay? But always go confirm with God, okay? I'll go always talk to God. He will tell you which one is yours, okay? All this of you, there is a person who wants to bring balance to this. They want to bring justice. They know that it wasn't fair that... The family try to derail them from your connection and stuff like that. They're healing this or cutting every karmic situation and they want to communicate with you. They want to have this passion new beginning with you. They're very attracted to you. Uh, attracted to you. <laughs> attracted to you, to you. Okay. I can't even speak. Maybe they have a speak problem or maybe when they, they want to talk to you, they get nervous or something. Like that's for them. It's a the good news. It's like they love you, right? They want to tell you. Also, they could have, you know, got a new opportunity, new job. They're trying to find stability. They're doing different things with their money right now. They're trying to balance this money thing. Because I feel like this is this was part of their karmic, um, their karmic debt for hurting you. It was something about their finances that they lost that now they're trying to regain and get back to you. Okay? Because it's never too late. That's why I tell people, like... Don't give up on your friend unless, like, it's really dead. Like, God tells you to do it, now it's dead, you know? So, yeah, this person wants to move forward. <coughs> Chariot, cancer energy. And fast, like, they're coming in fast. Like, whoever this is, like, they don't want to lose you. They're very balanced with the yin-yang here. Light shadow, light, um... Some of you, this person could be like purchasing a car or a plane or I don't know. This person wants to come in and like redemption, I'm hearing. Like they want redemption, yeah. They haven't sleep this nights about this, like how foolish they were. But also it's like they want a new beginning with you. See, it's it's the, the wheel of fortune is still here. I feel like this person, man, they must have, have a good deal with God. You know what I'm saying? Cause God don't play with whoever you are, okay? So that means they did something. That's for some of you. They worked on it. The Wheel of Fortune is upright. <clears throat> so it's still on. You know, they're just, they close in karmic cycles. That's what they were doing. They have to go through this to learn a lesson, okay? But definitely tables have turned here. Something that has been illuminated. See? Lying, cheating, deceit. I feel like this person could be sneaking around or or they were sneaking around, or people were sneaking around them because they're jealous and envious of them, trying to hold their energy, their money, or trying to hold them hostage for their en their enemies. Damn, I was going to say their energy, but enemies, woo. <coughs> I'm just showing you that this person wanted to let you know this is why they didn't reach you. So some of you, this person could have ghosted you, could have stopped talking to you, or 
you know but i'm not saying that any person that hurt you or did something to you and then they just went out wild no I'm, this is someone like i don't know like maybe like a friend or maybe you started a date or something but that this person didn't continue or anything i feel like this person ran like really fast they, they got consumed it was too much for them because this love is consuming this love is very wow there you go <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys i can't make this out it's the emperor that's divine masculine look they're single and they're doing their meditation they're healing this could be a pisces scorpio cancer again with the chariot here they could have ch ch uh, heavy cancer on their chart okay emperor this is taurus virgo uh capricorn nine of pentacles they see us as self-sufficient um independent or this is something that they're doing but i feel like they were greedy before they needed to learn this lesson because they were greedy arrogant selfish pride like something they needed to learn like god humbled this person in order to come to you yeah see they love you they want to date you now but yeah god had to humble them see look at that also the family they got to cut the family in order to come to you i can't make this up they got to cut something. They see you also as the Ten of Pentacles, you know, generational wealth, family, stability, long term. They know that you're not going to trap them or steal from them or something like that. Like that's like this person had to heal that because they can't come with that energy. God will never allow them to come with that energy. You know what I'm saying? Like literally you got to heal your past. You can. You can't come with this and no. You're bleed on the people who didn't hurt you. You know what I'm saying? That's a, it's a true thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this King of Cups... Uh, like they're humble now yeah see the empress divine mass and divine feminine here yeah the four of cups this person feels like i don't know what this person i feel like they rejected you maybe <coughs> oh. sorry guys i didn't want to cough on your when you're reading you know <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah this person rejected you now they're planning to talk to you come towards you yeah, divine judgment. They're, they're enlightening about something. Something, yeah, I feel like this person judge you or they let this family people judge you and stuff like that because you're different and you're unique. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm, forgiveness, yo. I'm telling you, there's some karma this person's going. All right, so I think let's see what the karma is. We usually do this, but I like these karma cards because it shows like nice messages you know all right spirit what is going on pluto resurrect yeah get the heart of what's it say oh pluto and neptune pluto isn't it um what is this oh pluto is scorpio eighth house and Neptune is the 12th house, right? Pisces. Okay. Interesting. So Scorpio, Pisces. Very water. A lot of water signs here, yo. <clears throat> Resurrect. The idealization of your ideas. Look at that. I love that. Get to the heart of confusion regarding short-term thinking and trips. Ooh, we Her house could be significant for some of you. Do or die, you must sacrifice who or what is around you. What, spirit? Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, that literally completed my reading. <laughs> and that just confirmed everything I just said in this reading. Holy shit. I'm telling you. Some of you, it's like this person sacrificed you thinking that that was the right thing. But no, it was actually the people who advised them to sacrifice you that he had to sacrifice. Oh, yes, absolutely. Especially now this person is sad, depressed. Like they are like, it's like these people are leeching. It's like, I'm seeing that. You know that scene in Stranger Things when that creatures are sucking their life out of people? That's how this, pe this person, like their family is. Like those people don't have a soul. That's the saddest part about this person, that they have to heal the fact that their family, friends, exes whatever everyone around them they're fucking sucking vampire energy they're sucking the life out of them meanwhile they're watching you and seeing you grow and pro that's their karma because that's what it is unless you know there's always a redemption there's always you know 
talking to the most high and doing what you got to do because he will put you some homework before you get to this divine feminine. Just saying. Why do you think it's going to be so easy to go back after you sacrifice your person, your blessing? Got to do some repentance. Mm-hmm. Oh, we. Let's see who. Let's help your divine master a little bit. So let's see which spirit guides or archangels are helping your person. Or maybe divine feminist who is with you right now. That you, when you pray, you can send it to them. Oh, how wonderful. Don't ever underestimate the power of the prayers. Okay? I am telling you right now. Look at that. Archangel Raquel. Mm-hmm relationship healing look at that number eight karma calm harmony stuff of finances look at that the yin balance oh look at that goddess of Quan yin who's this saint defam defana 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 sorry if i'm not saying this right see mental health well-being support yeah your person is dealing with something mental health issues with these people I wouldn't be surprised, depression, suicide, and stuff like that. Yeah. We've been there, man. You can get out, okay? I'm telling you. It will literally, you will feel it. Once you cut these people off, walk away from these people, go do whatever you got to do, stay the hell away, start your healing journey, and you'll see. You'll never feel this again. No popping pills, no nothing, nothing. You'll feel like so easy to let go of alcohol and drugs. I'm telling you, it's the people who surround you. It always has been. I know a lot of people don't want to talk about it, but it is. Saying rigid, fire, passion, grills. Some of you are very passionate. Like they see that in you. Like you're so passionate about your work or whatever. You also, you're, maybe you're helping people with mental health and stuff like that. Well, by masculine, if you wanted to know who is around your person or maybe surrounding you, you're just not letting them in. Because, you know, angels help only if you let them in, right? So they're letting themselves know to you right now through this meeting. So make sure that you're thankful. Okay. <clears throat> so I got his corn gene. That's cool. Kindness, divine mercy, compassion. Yes, divine feminine. You need to be in this energy, okay? Oh, thought in the reverse. Oh, metatron in reverse. Oh, this is who you're dealing. Oh, la la. Yeah, they're not happy with you, whoever you are. This is someone who is favored by Thod, Metatron, Christ, Archangel Rayrail. Well, these angels still have hope for you, so you gotta change, man. Whoever you are, you gotta change. You gotta let go of these toxic ass people. If not, you can't go to your person. It's just what it is. This person is too protected and too divine. Okay, this person could be a goddess. You're feminine, who you sacrifice for your family and your toxic ass karmic. They're a goddess. No offense. So yeah, this is why you. Some of you are like, oh no, that was too hard. That's too high standard for me. Yeah, yeah. But that was that thing is, you rejected that. It's because that's something that you saw in yourself that you could be. This person uh, triggered your awakening for you to heal, to work on things, to be that higher self. That was it. It's just that you were, didn't want to do the work. And that's what a lot of people do. Like, they don't want to do the work and then they miss on their blessings. It's sad, really. All right, angels. What else? Look at that. Look at this. Ascendant Master still have cold for you. Clear the fucking thing, y'all. Clear yourself. Ugh. Some of you masculines, you have a lot of karmics. Like, I, I, I'm i going to be straight up. Like, you too stuck in the 3D. you leaking your energy. You're letting people influence you. Like, come on, man. Wake the fuck up. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and... And what? And wants? And words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So, your person... Feminines, your person is praying for you. Some of you can hear these prayers if you're intuitive. Like if you're a seer, you can hear it. Some of you are hearing it. So you pray because your person can hear it too. Okay? And I feel like <laughs> literally I said that Masters is protecting this connection, which is so freaking nice. So yeah, anything these karmic people are going to do, it's, it's going to work out. Don't worry. Stop worrying. Stop overthinking. Let go of the past, whoever you are. Seriously. 
powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Absolutely. You got to believe, man. And clear yourself up. Like, clear yourself. Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you might have absorbed. Some of you are empaths. You're absorbing this negative energy. And these people are sucking the life out of you. This, I'm telling you, this is a narcissist empath dynamic where I feel like the empath is actually a masculine energy who wants to be with this goddess feminine energy who could be also an empath, an earth angel as well. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see the love oracle. There's a lot of love here. This person has a lot of love for whoever you are. Feminines, they love you. It's just, yeah, they fucked up, okay? So, I would let them prove it, you know? Show them with action and stuff, and that's it. Take it slow. You don't have to rush into, like, marriage and stuff like that. Like, damn, be friends. I don't know. Let them prove it to you, you know what I'm saying? Let them prove it to you. And that's it. You got to be in this energy, right? You got to forgive. You got to give mercy, right? You got to be kind. I love that. She, she has this nice energy. If you're in that energy, absolutely gorgeous. This person knows that. You got a lot of options too. Hey, damn, girl. Damn. Sorry, but damn, sorry. But it's true. You're fine. Fine. All right, let's see. Yeah, I can't make this up. Free yourself. There's a new love in this con con conciliation. Oh my God. This person needs to free themselves, I'm telling you. It's time to take back control of your life, whoever you are. Seriously, your new love is here. You have your new love. New love is literally reconciliation. Some of you is dead. It could be a new love or it could be a reconciliation with someone. You know what I'm saying? You Both options are available, especially if that person is not doing anything and they're not changing. You don't see them reaching you out here in this uh, channel. We encourage masculines to reach out. We do not demasculine that I do not recommend women to to reach out on men. Please do not. You have a lot of work to do. Now, if this person doesn't reach out, there's a new love who actually sees your worth and who actually will take action. I mean, hello. 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 <laughs> and that's it. <coughs> Sorry guys, that's your person's karma. All this of you, this is gonna feel like a new love. You're gonna reconcile with this person. Because they're gonna feel new, right? They're new, they're they're free. See, you're gonna go in your honeymoon, it's safe for you to love. Someone from your past returning to your love to life, okay? <coughs> Alright, my beautiful people. I think that's my cue. I wanted to give you some last messages here. Last one, okay? And I'm gonna go on swear. Woo! Okay, fine. Well, see, I can't make this up. Look at that. Forgiveness, reflection. I look at that. Yeah, this person cry for you. Yeah, they're praying. Yeah, this person's praying for you. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, they don't want you to move on. Like they're praying, not only praying to God to help them get out of the situation that they're stuck on, to learn the lesson and get the hell out, but also that you forgive them. <clears throat> okay, so let's read the first one. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. Absolutely. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay? Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Absolutely. I believe so. Okay? I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't. Okay? <laughs> Embrace. I love that. Aww. I feel like in the 5D, you guys do. You guys are connected. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. By the way, the Divine Feminine, you can heal your person in the 5D, okay? Go for it. I wouldn't suggest any cookie dokie no, 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 because the spiritual realm is very chaotic right now. <clears throat> and the devil really is trying to mess with you guys, okay? So, <clears throat> just for, you know, prevention reasons, I wouldn't uh, just say. Anyways. I love you guys. I hope this brings clarity, truth, and it helped you in your connection. I love you. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next reading. Make sure you like, your comment, and share, and subscribe so that I can pick up on your energy and tell you what's up, what's going on, collective. Other than that, I love you guys. Good luck with everything, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye!